Hi, welcome to the FX video report. Today is the 20th of March 2019. We're going to be looking at the cross, Euro Sterling cross. Uh, we're going to look at two different time frames and actually two different scenarios uh, for this uh, major currency pair. Now, the first time frame is the monthly chart. Here we can see a bullish Elliott wave count to the upside. Uh, completing around about uh, 93 the figure we're now assessed as being in this corrective choppy volatile move to the downside an AB uh, equals CD formation now we've broken the wedge pattern to the downside we posted a bearish engulfing candle uh, in January these candles often highlight the end of a trend and a new bearish bias however this month we've posted indecision, we've got a doji style candle, everything that's going on in the UK with Brexit, uh, very volatile uh, trading uh, in sterling and that's obviously affecting this euro sterling cross. Now there's reverse trend line resistance from this wedge breakout at 88.47 and that's quite an important level. Uh, to the downside uh, the measured move target for this wedge breakout is around about 83.10 so this time frame would highlight that the bias is still bearish but that the scope uh, for a corrective rally uh, possibly to sell into now if we go to the daily chart that mixed and volatile trading and it's just going to, going to show how many days of mixed and volatile trading we had 38 days of mixed and volatile trading has formed a bullish ending wedge pattern um, now for the last one two three four five for the last five days we've seen inside soldiers or inside arami candles they also highlight indecision we've got a tr trend of lower lows located at 84.48 and we've got our bespoke support located at 84.60 so we're looking for limited selling at the moment in euro sterling but only as a corrective rally so the actual measured move target for a breakout of this wedge formation is at 88.38 and that's obviously extremely close to that monthly reverse trend line resistance level uh, so basically what we're looking to do we're looking to buy euro sterling on a dip down towards 84.60 we're going to place our stop at 83.60 and we're looking for that measured move target at 88.35.